Off to Joe, though. You, Joe, we've got some big NASCAR news that came out on Tuesday, July 19th, in reference to the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. What are some of those details, and, and what's going to be happening to the schedule on that new track? Uh, it's going to be in the streets of Chicago. Uh, it's pretty cool. I saw a lay layout. It's going to take place uh, July 4th weekend of next year. And I saw the track because they raced on iRacing last year. And, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be uh, around this uh, – it's going to be a 15-turn street course. We're seeing uh, Cup Series never raced on a street course before, so it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to it because I would like to see a, you know, a street course in a Cup Series. But I understand they're losing Road America. I really like the race on Road America, but they said they might come back there one day. But I'm really excited the announcement that they have. And, uh, you know, we'll see how they do it. I, I just don't understand. We're going to see an action. I, I, I'm cool for the idea, but uh, – some of the like exact right nine the ninety degree corners, uh, these these hard sharp corners. I wonder how they're going to do that in terms of safety. You know. Well, let's start with you, Star. You've talked about this on the show in the past about having an opinion on street course racing. Well, it's happening in twenty three. So, what do you think about it? What's your reaction to being added to the schedule? Well, I'm not surprised by it. I mean, when you go to the LA Coliseum and run a race a weekend four day Tony five hundred in a, you know, I don't even know if it was a quarter mile track, but uh. You know, NASCAR's, you know, they're uh, they're doing some stuff out of the box, that's for sure. And uh, I'm not surprised to hear that. We've been hearing the rumors for a while. You know, I, it's kind of exciting, but I'm not so sure uh, what kind of race it'll be. You know what I mean? You, I, I, I love watching the IndyCars race. You know, I love them when they put them on ovals. They put on such a great race. Then you put them on a road course in, in, a, in a city. And the racing's not that great. You know, there's not a lot of passing. Uh, from a spectator standpoint, you can only see a turn or two. Uh, you know, I, I think it's kind of cool because they're trying something way outside the box, but I'm not so sure if that's really the direction that our sport needs to go. You know, it'd be kind of cool to see it. But I, I'm not real sure if uh, stock cars or, you know, or cup cars or NASCAR cars are made for street courses around America. We got all these awesome racetracks and, and – uh, but hey, man, you know, you know, maybe they're on to something. But for me, it, it remains to be seen how it's going to play out. You know what I mean? It's uh, to me, I, you know, I think it's cool, but I, I don't think these types of cars are made for city type racing. To my personally, what do you think but about? I was thinking that too. I was thinking that too, uh, Star, because uh, you know, any car in Formula One, they could stop on a dime, okay? But in NASCAR, they don't have the same braking systems. And I was wondering, David. Especially a right-hander or a left-hander that's 90 degrees. I mean, that's straight on. You know what I'm saying? Are they looking at that as safety uh, way how to, to make it more safe? Well, I had drove the new next-gen race car, but they uh -huh. say it's more of like a, you know, it's a lot of the design of it is more of a like a Trans Am type car. Uh, the mm -hmm. braking got, you know, from here and other drivers talk, the braking's really good and the sequ sequential shifting and, you know, the car, these cars are probably built more than any other NASCAR or cup car for a street race. But, uh, but I don't know. It still remains to be seen. I'm kind of curious what Strimi's, uh opinion is of it. Well, I don't I, – I give them kudos for trying stuff, but I think, again, they're going down a road that – listen, if I want to watch street race and I watch IndyCar race or Formula One race, you know, I'm not – I think there's great facilities all over the country that they could go to and – uh, they they just need to look in the mirror at themselves and go, man, what are we doing? You know, like uh, I uh, again as a race fan and most people I talk to and and you look at your hardcore group of fans uh, when you when you watch a race, it's hard to watch. You know, you look back and I think the thing and and we'll just start with NASCAR themselves. Or people are tired of them being double edged sword. They say one thing and all of a sudden they go do the other thing here a year or two later. I mean, like let's let's just look at. What do we have to do in the racing? All right, do we need to go to Iowa? Do we need to go to different places? I think the street course, you know, yeah, they went to Chicago. It's going to be cool and different. But, like, how do you measure the fans? Or how are you just going after TV ratings? It's something different. So, like, everybody's going to tune in for the first one. But it, it, and, and, look, I'm a dirt racer. I love dirt racing, but it's like the Bristol race. I turn the race on to watch a little bit. And, I don't. again, I don't watch a lot of them. But I turned it on, and I'm like – all right, here's a red flag, and we got to clean the grills and do. All. I'm like, this is dumb, you know. Like we, need to, <laughs> like, like at least pull the windows out, you know, yeah. do some stuff. Well, that's that, idea, that, right? that, more like dirt racing, but again, I don't think a six, seven hundred thousand dollar car, whatever they are, eight hundred thousand dollar car needs to be run on dirt. You know, it's not 
Like, so I, I look at the street course the same way. Let's just, let's just get back to some racing and, and, and get what built NASCAR. You know, you go to Bristol, it was like, damn, you'd run top, bottom, do all kinds of stuff. Like, get on Goodyear about building a damn tire that's going to fall off, yeah. you know? Like, Absolutely. There's just so many things. That, and and I'll, I'll, I'll say, like Charlotte, okay, with technology and doing stuff, Charlotte used to be when you'd go there, you you watch guys and they'd wreck, they'd back in the fence qualifying down in three and four. You know what I'm talking about, Star. It was slick. Yeah, and it was rough and it had character. Yeah. And you had drivers that were gladiators. Now you watch them race. Look, I, it's just like nothing. They get out of the car. Okay, yeah, hey, I gotta thank this person. <laughs> we used to watch guys. I mean, I remember wrecking, I'm like, hey, give me a minute here. I gotta catch my breath. You know, I'm not saying people, <laughs> die, but people want to see excitement. All right. Yes. Going to the street course, I don't see it's going to be exciting. I just don't. I'm like, hey, it's it's a it's a gimmick to market. It's it's trying to get ratings up to to get um, you know, it's just like having that race, the uh, the dirt race on Mother's Day weekend or whatever it was. I don't know what race it was. I mean, uh, look, we ain't raced on Mother's Day weekend or no, it wasn't it was Easter, Easter. is what it was. Yeah. I'm like, we shouldn't be racing Easter. They never have. Well, guess what? There's nothing going on. So ratings are great. And they, they want to run with that. And I'm like, well, because there's nothing on. You know, let's be realistic about this. So, again, they, I don't know. They, we could go on all day. I'm just, I'm over it. I've, I've checked out, you know. <laughs> okay. 